Have you ever wondered what happens in the body after someone receives a kidney transplant? Let's take a journey inside the body to explore an important process called the immune response. When someone with kidney disease receives a new kidney through transplant surgery, it's an incredible opportunity for them to heal and return to a high quality of life. However, the body's defense system, known as the immune system, sees the transplanted kidney as a foreign intruder and a threat. When this happens, certain cells in the immune system attack the new kidney to eliminate it. This immune response is known as a rejection. During a rejection, the immune system considers the new kidney as a foreign body that must be removed. Immune cells launch an attack to protect the body. Unfortunately, this process can harm the transplanted kidney and put its function at risk. To prevent rejection, it's important for you to take immunosuppressive medications after an organ transplant. Immunosuppressive medications help suppress the function of the immune cells that are responsible for rejecting a transplanted organ. The goal is to protect the new organ from the immune system's attack while maintaining a balance within the body's defense system. However, it's important to understand that immunosuppressive medications affect the whole immune system, not just the immune cells that attack a transplanted organ. As a result, these medications also block the immune system's ability to fight actual threats to the body, like bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even cancer cells. Additionally, as immunosuppressive medications are required for the life of the new organ, long-term use can have unwanted side effects and cause various complications. These complications may include diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, kidney injury, and heart disease.